effects of rheumatoid arthritis since she was 12 years old. Right now, I'm not able to work and go to school and live the life that I want to live because of the pain that I'm in. Um, and obviously around here we have a massive problem with prescription pain pills, so I've never been one to really want to take prescription pain pills. I take 115 pills a week. None of that is pain relief. Bird is one of many in Tennessee who find relief in the hope, the possibility of legalized medical marijuana. It's just a constant building of more prescription pills and more prescription pills to control all these side effects when I could probably, if I had access to medical marijuana, just be able to control my pain as I feel necessary. Dr. Kenneth Firstlew serves as director of toxicology at ETSU's College of Medicine and says, like any drug, there's a risk and benefit you have to balance. We do know from clinical studies that marijuana has a medicinal use. Now, the questions that become to our lawmakers, to our society is, how do we want to control that so it's properly used and not abused? What we're having a problem with is matching our laws, matching our, our ways of dispensing drugs, controlling drugs, and using it in a medical manner. Um, it's what the whole conflict is about. It's a conflict that has lawmakers split, but bill sponsor, Representative Sherry Jones, says some of it maybe a smoke screen. There are a lot of um, Republican members who are simply afraid. They're, af they're afraid to say yes, they're for it. In private, they might tell you they're okay with it, but they will not step out in public and say they are and vote for it. Those that are publicly opposing the legislation include Lieutenant Governor Ron Ramsey. And I think the only reason you smoke pot is to get high, period. I mean, and and so, so there is a difference in that in alcohol. There is. So I don't think the time has come when we're looking at ways to to put more restrictions on, on meth production, on prescription drugs, you don't be, need to be legalizing something else.